Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn uh, what are the different ways to insert data into SQL Server table. So open the SSMS and connect with SQL Server instance. Once you are connected, go to the Databases tab and then click on the database where your table does exist. In my case, I'm going to use Tech Brothers IT database and go to tables and customer DBO customer is a table I'm interested in and I would like to some insert some data in this uh, table. Uh, click on this uh, plus sign and expand the columns. Uh. Now once you expand the columns, uh, you will see customer ID, first name, last name and age. Uh, in your case, you will see different columns. Uh, that's absolutely okay. Now first of all, we need to find if there is identity column present uh, in this table. Uh, so we can do by using multiple ways, right click here and then we can uh, go to script table and create to a new query so once we do that we understand okay customer id is identity column so we don't have to insert any data in customer id column if you are not uh, interested or you don't have permission to go right click and say script has and create and all that you can always use the select query to see if there is identity column i have a uh, um, posted uh, multiple videos how to check if the table has an entity or not one quick way is to use a select query select dollar sign identity from dbo customer so if you run this one it will return you a column on which we have identity property enabled so you see that customer id column is returned if there are values in this one it will also return all those values but from here we know that there is identity column we don't need to worry about this column and we can insert the values in other columns let's close this window and here I have written five points and there could be a lot more actually um, I miss few of them by purpose because we are uh, in the very first chapter uh, how to insert and all that when I will get to the store procedures link servers and uh, open row query and all those kind of uh, things uh, I will also show those techniques uh, how to get the data from link server and insert it into table how to uh, execute a store procedure and insert the data into the table so I will cover those scenarios this is more basic uh, part with the select and insert statements so, now use multiple inserts uh, to insert data into the table so this is uh, the very first way when uh, we were using sql server 2000 or two, uh, 2005 this is, was the way we were inserting the data into the table so insert into dbo customer and then we provide uh, the columns and say first name last name and age and then we say values and here we provide Amir, comma, Shehzad, comma, age, let's say 33. Now you see that uh, in our value values. So we have to provide S and that will be taken care of. Now from here you can see that if we were using 2000 or 2005, we have to copy and paste. So for each of the insert, uh, we were uh, writing the whole thing we say insert into table and then type the row values so that's how we were inserting if i go ahead and run it it's going to work just fine and inserted two rows so let's take a look on the data let me run the select query so we see that there are two records that are inserted into dbo customer but in latest version they said that why you need to type this insert into uh, again and again um, so with this one using single insert with multiple values uh, that's possible so let's say if we are interested to insert uh, the same records uh, what we will do just paste it here and now we don't need this insert statement again um, so we can remove that but we have to for the each we don't need the values this part as well so after the first values uh, you will put the comma and then uh, provide the next row values uh, so that's a uh, in this case we are saying uh, uh, John and uh, if I will say Smith here is the uh, 33 or 2 and uh, instead of here Christy and uh, Ladson and let's say she is 20 now you see that uh, we can uh, 
use single insert with the multiple row values so for each of the row we will be having the values and just keep inserting if i need to insert further i put comma and just copy this row and change the values so this really uh, help us a lot like okay we don't have to have insert so many times in our insert statement uh, we can have only one insert and then uh, just the values part uh, so if we go ahead and insert the values I'm gonna go ahead and uh, insert this values run and three rows are inserted correctly now we will go ahead and select uh, and take a look uh, so as you see that uh, these are the values we inserted uh, now uh, some cases uh, I don't know really uh, depends upon the situation you might have to come up with this scenario let's say data is provided in Excel and you are creating uh, insert statements you might create uh, uh, this uh, insert statements uh, some tools uh, might create this type of insert statement for you uh, and uh, um, or you can uh, always use a single insert with the values uh, so depending but this is a different way to learn it okay you can do this way or this way now use insert with select uh, Sorry, use uh, select with insert to insert the record. That's another way to insert the values. So let me show you first of all select. So with the select, if I will say select A, Amir is gonna give me this value as a new column. So if I will say Amir, and you see there no column name. I can always say as first name. This is called alias. So I am given the alias of this column, and this is the value. So if I will select now, you see that first name Amir and uh, now I can go ahead and do the same thing for last name. I can say Shehzad and as last name and then comma, I will say 33 as age. Now these static values, I use them in select to generate these columns and I have one row. So this is how I can always generate the values. This is pretty much the exactly exact the same thing uh, what we have here. Now, only thing is missing. Uh, we need the insert statement on top of that. Uh, so I'm going to copy the insert statement and then paste it here. Now let let me truncate this table so we will see. Once you truncate, uh, no records will be there and uh, identity will be reset to the actual uh, seed value. Now. Here you see that if I will go ahead and run this together, this is going to insert one value. This is one way to insert the record into the SQL Server table. Now let's go ahead and run it and uh, take a look on the records and you see that the value is inserted. This is auto generated so we don't have to worry. We have not provided here so it doesn't really care as it is auto generated. So the rest of the values are inserted. But if you need to insert the same values like these three values how you will use in the select so we have a union all operator if I will say union all and then I will copy the previous select paste it here and just change the values so uh, from here let's say John Smith I will change it and uh, now for Smith I will just change here and the 33 and 34 and now I can go ahead and run this select query see if I run these two selects together as the union is going to give us all the records from both of the selects so it has given us these two records so once we go ahead and run this one it is going to insert two records in the table there is already one record that's why we will have three records now so you see there Amir is duplicating uh, but uh, uh, we did not truncate the table let's truncate the table so I show you now this uh, select uh, or set of uh, select queries uh, the first select and second they are returning us two records and these are static values we are using here so once we run this together with the insert statement it is going to insert uh, the result set uh, or uh, the records returned by the select queries uh, into the uh, table now we can go ahead and execute and select this this is another way to insert the record into the table use insert without providing or the column values sorry providing the column names 
that's also doable so if uh, I'm not interested to provide the columns uh, I can uh, uh, and I'm very sure uh, the sequence of those columns is correct uh, I can insert the values so let me take the same query if I will paste here and I know that uh, the first name is uh, here second name last name and age so I can see the order in the table and I don't need to type it I say okay forget about it and now what I want to do I would just want to insert so let me truncate the table again now we don't have any record in the table and here we did not provide a list of the columns where we want to insert the records but you see that we have first name last name and age in the order so if I run this query it is going to insert the records and it will insert in the right place so you see that but this is the part I don't really like it I always recommend putting the columns here and then selecting the columns as well so let's say even you have this query the same query what we had with insert we can also use this one as a part of that so if we don't provide the list of the column that's still okay it is as we have the same sequence here and the same values are provided so you can go ahead and insert the values now you three rows are inserted if we will take a look we can see that the three records are inserted correctly but again I do not recommend uh, this way of inserting uh, sometime uh, maybe your uh, column sequence is different you are thinking in a different direction you say no okay uh, first name is always uh, on the first name here maybe somebody while they were creating the table they started the last name in the first column and uh, that will create the problem always provide uh, the list of the columns and then uh, values uh, so you would know that okay which value is going to which column now also here uh, even uh, let's say we have inserted into db a customer and as first name let's say if i don't have this uh, as first name last name and all that that's still going to work so if you have just uh, without any columns uh, and you run the select uh, it will uh, run the select and show no column name no column name but as the values in our sequence is in the same what we have a first name last name and age so we can simply go ahead and insert it if i run this one it will insert one value and uh, now if we will run this both select you see that still the second even we have provided the alias for the second select uh, query the alias is not taken so if you want to have a, let's say you want to have the alias so you can always do one thing you can have a, cut the first one put the first select query with the alias and the other one uh, you can put without the column names that's possible I'm just trying to show you different ways or what can be done but that doesn't mean that this is the best practice so if I will run this select query together now you see that it took the first name last name and age from the very first select even second one does not have the column names so that's another way if you feel like okay first one I can create with the alias and then union all and just have the records so I will show you scenarios when we get the data in Excel and all that where you just want to grab the values and prepare those insert statement and you don't care about alias and all that you just want to insert the data so this is one way uh, to take a look how to insert the data into a table when we don't want to provide a column list uh, but uh, the values we are providing they are in the same sequence so what the, the our columns are so column sequence and value sequence uh, is the same the last one uh, insert into table from another table so think about a scenario here we have a customer designer and uh, let me get some data from the first let's truncate select I'm going to say select star from that means select all the columns from customer designer so run this query and we have first name last name and age so we have these columns here and if we are interested to insert the data into the customer table what we will do we'll say the same thing what we have done here so we will just copy our insert statement say insert into table then provide the columns now you provide the columns here and second part is that you will use a select query so you are going to use a selector here and 
now you have to say first name comma last name comma age so these are the three columns that we are selecting now and you see that uh, these are the three columns where we are inserting the values uh, if i run this one uh, it will return me all the results uh, from the customer designer table now if i run insert and uh, select together so it is going to insert the record uh, from uh, the customer designer to the customer table so let's run that one so it's in a uh, string or binary data would be truncated that's a problem why because in designer table maybe there is a column uh, that has a um, value that does not fit in uh, in the our customer table uh, so how we can uh, figure that out uh, let's go to customer table take a look on the column and we see that we have watch chart 10 and watch chart 10 so this name part does not fit into first name my long f name that's longer than 10 characters so that's the reason this is failing so now what we can do we can alter this so there are multiple ways to alter it i have a video on that how to do it but i'm going to do it quickly here for you so we say alter table i like this part when errors happen and we can make changes and we say alter uh, first name alter column sorry alter column first name and I'm going to say watch your 50 so now it will be taken care the same thing now let's refresh and then uh, we can do the last name as well execute Check the columns now we have a first name watcher 50 and the last name watcher 50 and now we should be okay uh, to insert the data from designer customer designer table to the our customer table because uh, the we have the data length uh, for first name that can accept 50 character and same for last name in real-time scenarios you might not go ahead and change the table the way I did change so in this case uh, if uh, maybe watcher 10 was defined and uh, you try to insert the data you got the problem you are going to talk with your manager talk with your team lead and uh, uh, tell them hey we have some data so you will tell them hey we have some data maybe this is a wrong data in the other table so they will say ignore that column or value so we don't really need that value anymore so uh, or we, they will fix that so th this case uh, I was showing you if uh, let's say they say we really want to insert it and then you will go ahead and prepare these uh, statements and uh, run in the dev and give to UAT and QA to run in the uh, run by the uh, DBA and uh, that's how it will be taken care now we can go ahead and uh, run this query it will insert the data so you see five row records are inserted in the customer table from uh, the DBA uh, customer designer table again you don't have to have these column list here but I always recommend as the sequence of these columns can be different what you are selecting here so in this case let's say if somebody selected last name here and first name here and age then you will have a problem because your sequence is different so now truncate the table in the, let's try this out we will say last name first and then you have the first name so if somebody will try to run like that it is going to insert the records but the wrong information is inserted so you see first name uh, sorry last name first name and age that's the, that was a sequence of our select query as the, the both column we have first name and last name they are word chart they accepted the values but uh, the value for the last name went into the first name and the, the value for the first name went into the last name of the customer table so you always want to make sure the way you have the column names here in the same sequence and also this select query has the same sequence what you are using in the insert statement. Now if I will select the values you see that it took Shahzad that's last name it should not be in the first name and this is my last name and all that. So this went into the first name because we did not provide the sequence here and uh, or we did not provide the list of the columns the way we wanted to insert uh, but if you are inserted uh, here you want to start with the last name fine uh, but as long as you provide all those columns uh, it is going to work just fine uh, now if I will truncate 
you will see that and if we will select now it should be just work fine because first name last name is going to the last name first name is going to the first name and age is going to the age so now it is a correct all right again one more thing i would like to say in cases where you will try to in, uh, insert a string and a date you have to have a single quotes around it and uh, for the other values such as the uh, numbers and uh, uh, integers or numeric or, and float and all that you will be just using the number without a single quotes. So, so thanks very much and uh, one last thing I would like to tell you uh, I'm going to create more videos uh, how to insert data into table as I said that by from a store procedure from a link server from a, um, uh, open row set and all those kind of different techniques I will show you guys but those topics will in the later chapter once again appreciate your time and I will see you guys in the next video